So hi, good morning. Uh, so we are on 31st March. Let's see the market is Sermon Nifty is 35 points gap open uh, pre-open. So what I've done is I've already uh, <coughs> decided on some prices. So like uh, these are the prices at which uh, we can buy and sell. That is from the trading tree charts I've done this. Now other than this uh, we have the particular uh, features tree file. Where we'll just click on the current day data button. I have already taken the historical data. So we'll just click on the current day data button and then uh, check if uh, there are any trend, I mean any trades, entry uh, prices. And uh, simultaneously we'll just uh, check what, what's the trend in uh, our trading tree and then we'll start picking up the calls. So not necessarily the 35 points gap are yeah, we'll take the market sir or it might even come down also that we'll know with the future street fine. So let's just get started. So it's 9.15. Let me click on the current day data. I have a buy call in IRB. Let me just tell you the price. IRB we have a buy, so you can just buy it at this safe level 249.80. So that's done. Uh, let me just put it on auto refresh on. Uh, let's see what are the calls that are running. So we have an sell in SBI, Axis, S Bank, TCS, in fee is a buy. So let me just check what's happening to access. So you can just wait on that. So other than this, uh, we have a sell at IDBI, Glenmark we have a buy, HCM Tech, Hero Motors, uh, Tech Mahindra, Ashok Lyland, what you are seeing here, uh, we haven't got the prices uh, still for that. You, you might be getting the live prices, but we have not got the trades ready still. So for that, what we will be doing is, we will be just clicking on this current day data button again at 9.20. So signal still is a gap up open. But uh, we had the preferred to buy at 161. I'll just show you the figure. 159. So it's already done that. It's at 116. So these are some of the figures that I have kept. Mm 
again we have a cell call. Let us make an entry 379.20. Just check this, we should be getting some calls at 9.20 exactly. Getting a buy call. There is a buy call in Jubilee L31. There is a sell call in OMG C1. There is a buy call in Ringback C1. There is a buy call in Sun Farm 1. So let me just take the current day data. So OMG C you can just ignore. Same thing with BAT3, Airtel and HCL Tech and BNF. They are already capped on. So we replace that script with some other scripts. Sun Pharma, Rambaxi, ONGC, Jubilant Food. Jubilant Food, try to buy above this PP line, 1530. <laughs> so Karnataka Bank, uh, 125.90, 125.85. We had placed an order at 126.25. See this, uh, Orders what uh, I have typed, uh, this was done at around 8 o'clock. So I had placed uh, some orders like this. In mean, orders in the sense I have decided on uh, certain trades. So JSW was 931. Let me just show you what's happening with that. It's 931. So once it crosses uh, R2, then uh, we'll be seeing, seeing some action there. So otherwise, we have Nifty, Axis, Swiss Bank, Tata Steel, we have a Sun, Sun Pharma, we have a buy. We should be getting a buy in Randaxi also. So the PSU banks seem to be weak. Allahabad Bank, Bank of Baroda or Gap Down. Bank of India has started giving a sell call. Can Bank is a cap down. So the PSU banks are completely down. Coal India has done its final target. So Jindal still you can see that we actually had an, it did not, it got, we got the prices after 920. So it's a buy call. Hero Moto, we have a sun. Let me just check the chart. We should be getting a sell here in trading tree also. HCL Tech, I'll just tell you what will be its position. You can just wait on HCL Tech. It was a gap down open, so don't do anything. Same thing with ONGC. ONGC, let's just uh, check it here also. So that's on sell call. But if you just uh, ask me the overall uh, trend, the long term trend, yeah, we should be getting a sell call here also. LNT is continuing its uh, upward trend. Same thing with Maruti. So Maruti, the entry price uh, 
what we had was 3712 so it's somewhere near belt so OMGC is a sum Petronet we have this price 178 will be an entry for that PNB will get us most probably a sell call but overall if you ask me the PSC banks are uh, down ITC uh, it was a very good uh, buy call yesterday now today we have a sell call in ITC Let's just check uh, where will uh, S bank end up to. So it has to hit the stop loss line. So Reliance is a gap up open. Grassing we have a sell, it's done its intermediate target. We have a sell even in the ACC. So the complete telecom pack is uh, doing well. We have idea it's a very good call. It's 186.20 now. 
The same thing with VAR theater and uh, Gonarcom also we have this buy. So we prove we have a buy 
cell cap, we have a byte. Mahindra, we have a byte. by calling my CO1. Are you see we have a buy? The safe level will be uh, 335 for this. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. So we play a bit of Baikon as it has stop loss. <clears throat> now we have Excel. Let's just go to the chat and then we we'll just check what will be its final target. So should be getting a cell call here in uh, 3D tree. Let's just check uh, in case if we have any calls from now. Uh,
Bank of Baroda is for the bike of Imam and it has damaged it will get damaged also. So your next uh, profit will be 171. So Tata Motors we have a buy now. What do you see we will get a buy call? So this will not get triggered. Now uh, we will have a tag in a buy call. So HDFC bank is a sum now. I just check the chart for that. Sipla, we have a buy call and trading tree. Uh, it's seven one five. Buy above seven one five. So I'm just interchange this HDFC and ICIC uh, money. you have a buy right right now So the general steel uh, buy call uh, has hit the stop loss. Now uh, we have the sun. It's better to avoid. It's a bit difficult call. The reason why I say that is its final target itself is eight uh, percent. Uh, so you can just keep on uh, toggling between this uh, buying and selling. So one of the best way you can do, uh, I mean, uh, try to enter trades is like you just check the final target levels. It should be around 15% or 20%. Somewhere around 15, 20%. Those calls will be uh, real good calls. Now in case of Jindal still, it's just 8%. And you can just see that uh, your uh, stop losses will keep on 
eating. So it's better to avoid this kind of calls when uh, you, you will be able to easily identify this. Your intermediate target should be roughly around 5, 6, 5 to 7 percent. The final target will be at least 15, 20 or 30 percent. Since it was uh, highly volatile yesterday, so your profit levels will be less today. So there are some other calls uh, which have already made their uh, final targets. So let me just remove this Jindal steel and let me show you this. BPCL has done its final target. IDEA has done uh, the final target. And uh, you have Bank of Baroda. Uh, we have uh, Glenmark, Asian Paint, they did their uh, intermediate targets. <coughs> Let's add PNP here. So in case if you have any doubts, please type it in the chat box. So I'm just trying to show you uh, that uh, profit levels, if you just check yesterday's profit levels and today's profit levels, and let me show you this. See SBA it was around 15.9% here. Now in case if you check it today, it's around 25 here. ICICI was 21%, uh, is 21% now. So these are the figures that you should be looking at.
Good morning, Anne. See, you'll always have to understand this. Uh, your cash market price is a base price and your cash market prices are the real market prices. And your futures prices or options prices or speculative prices which are based on the underlying value of your spot prices. That is the cash market prices. So whenever the cash market moves, even this also will follow that but in a certain percentage but overall on a particular intraday basis your cash market and the span between your cash market that is uh, uh, either you call it as a premium or uh, if it is discounting it will happen at the same rate it won't change for the intraday basis but on day to day basis yes it can change like, Let's say today the cash market uh, Ashok Laila no opens at 74.50 but uh, in futures it might be uh, 73 also or it might be 76 also. So that depends on that is what we call as the speculative pricing that is a futures price. But for the complete day the once a trade starts both will move in the same level that is the difference between your uh, I mean, futures and uh, the cash prices will be almost similar, similar in the sense the range, but again in futures your volumes will depend.
See, stop loss you don't you you don't get it that way. See, stop loss how you will do is uh, just give you an example of you want a deal up right? Okay, see DLF is currently trading at 160.30 in futures and uh, now here it is 158.75 so there is a difference but your, uh, when you place a trade you observe this stop loss only that is 161 only not your futures uh, stop loss because you won't be knowing how much it will change otherwise the simple reason being you will not be able to calculate what will be the difference between uh, spot price and the futures price for each and every script that is all the 30 scripts. So you don't need to do that. What you have to do is you place one, your entry is 159.40 that is for a short side. So 159.40 as soon as you see red in DLF you short at the current market price which is existing at that point of time in futures. And you just keep observing this and in case if it comes to 160 then you exit that trade in futures. Because you will not be knowing the uh, futures stop loss price. We will anyway get that also. We are going to change this uh, uh, future stream to cash tree and uh, we will change the, we will have another application where we will get the futures prices and you can trade on futures itself. There you will have the futures data. So that will be your stop losses and the entries and all this stuff will be there. So that we can, that we will have to, we are working on that but it's very expensive to get that kind of a data. So that is why we, but the concept is very simple. In case if a particular uh, script or an instrument has to move up in futures or in options, it is based on your cash market price only. So your uh, futures prices and uh, your uh, option prices are always speculative uh, prices and speculative market. That's why we call it as a derivative market as a speculative market. You can even trade options on this. When, uh, in case if uh, you want to, uh, if you have the patience to listen, I'll just show you how to trade in options also. But intraday options are uh, risky. The only person who earns money here is uh, the NSE. Let me take BPCL. I'll place BPCL here since it has done its, uh, all its targets. So here uh, it's very simple, we have a buy call in uh, BPCL, so whenever you have a buy call in BPCL and this 776.4 is reached, so what you will do is you will buy a call option, you will buy a call option and uh, the call option you will have to check what is the strike. 
So I know that uh, BPCL is, is somewhere in the 770 range, 770 or 7, 780 range. So I will try to check my strike prices. So I will go to, it is a call option. So the idea is that if you place a call option in uh, 780, the 770 price should go up to 780. That is what it means. Now uh, you can just see in the left side is the calls and the right side is a put. Now for 780 strike, the current price is 42 or let's say 41, 42 rupees. 41, 42 into uh, 500 is your premium. Now this, I will have to check the open prices here. So this open prices now currently, uh, it should have been less actually. It should have been less there, but the current ask price is 42 rupees. So if you get the open prices, you will be able to see uh, it would have been uh, 38, 39 or whatever it is. And then it has gone up to 42. So that is your profit, that 3 or 4 rupees into your uh, lot size. That will be your profit. And you can see the quantity here also. The quantity will be high in that particular uh, strike only like 780 or 800, these strikes only, your volumes will be there. So if you are planning to put uh, 10 lots or 20 lots, so if this is very important that your volumes, open interest or change in volumes, these figures are very important. Now similarly in case let's say uh, I have gotten a uh, sell call in S bank, what I will do is I will buy a put option. Buying a put option is meaning this that this particular script I am going to short and it's in future it's going to come down. So what I do is I just go back to uh, this one. So the S bank. Now S bank my strike price is let's say 820 is my entry. So my 810 or 8, 800 will be my strike prices where I will get the volumes. So you can uh, see that, so 820 on the right side is the put options, so if you are buying put options you can see that 820 or 800 carries more number of volumes, change in open interest, all, all this means volumes. Now at what price is it selling, 24 rupees, now at the end of the day you just check in case if yes bank makes its final target. We have various uh, sources to confirm the trades. Now, so that is S bank. It's falling down. Now, uh, once it makes its final target, you are thirty-four rupees or sixteen rupees. That, that is different strikes. Now, we we'll have to choose the strike. Let's say I am choosing. Uh, 800 strike, so you are getting this chart. So you can just check, there will be your final prices once it makes a final target or intermediate targets. So that is how you earn money here in options. You can trade on options, you can trade on futures, you can trade on the cash market, all three at a single, uh, in a single view, in a single window. But trading in options is, you have to slightly do some homework early in the morning like the strike prices, change in open interest. We have another strategy for change in open interest and the price going up. That is another strategy what we have. You can even you, you do that uh, particular strategy. You can use that uh, strategy also. But overall, uh, if you ask me, you should be very happy with what you are doing. That needs uh, some amount of homework that should be done. So ONGC now we have a uh, buy call. So that is how uh, ONGC is. So we already have a buy here. So 31890 will be your uh, intermediate target. So it's very simple. If you have a buy call, you buy a call option. If you have a sell call, you buy a put option. Now short selling of uh, 
oops, of the cell side uh, uh, shorting, I think you'll have to check it out with your broker because the premiums will be more or some brokers don't allow that. Tata Steel, let's just check this, uh, what will be the targets for Tata Steel. This should, uh, once it makes its stop loss here, that should end uh, the final target here. DLF, we should be getting a buy call, that is in future straight so. DLF was a gap down open, it started uh, below this intermediate target, we said we will avoid that call. So then you have an entry below uh, target 2 or near intermediate target, you have picked that call, just ignore that call. Try to replace that with another script or else you try to wait for the next side of the call, that is the buy side of the call. <laughs> Same thing with HCL Tech also. It, also, it was also a gap down open. And even ONGC sell call what we had was on a gap down open. It uh, actually opened at target 4. We said we will avoid this, now we have a buy call. So that's the example, I mean, uh, good that you asked me. We had a sell call, it started somewhere here at 312, 3.11. We said avoid this. Now we have a buy call, so you book the profits here. So there is no question of stop loss, pain or gain. Just replace this uh, HCL tech with uh, <coughs> Arbindo Pharma.
There is a cell phone in one SBAN A1. So we have a cell in wash plus bank. I will try to check the long term trend. So you can we know that it has been flagged all yesterday. <laughs> so there has to be a change in the trend for the particular scrub. So it's moving downwards. And other than this, uh, see that is one confirmation. I'll tell you how multiple uh, applications what we have will help you in trading better is uh, what is this? We know that in a 10 minute chart itself we have a cell call on intraday basis. Now I know the long term trend that is on a 30 minutes chart. I should be getting a sell here also and apart from this I have uh, this one where uh, we can see that S Bank is in a long term uh, sell. You can see that S Bank here against uh, most of the scripts it is on a sell side. So it's a confirmation that uh, this is a current running call in uh, pay trading. So I know that S-Bank is, we should be shorting, we have already shorted. So I have get an opportunity here and I get an opportunity here also, I will definitely go and short it. So Hero Motor 24, uh, 38. That's around 14 rupees into 125. So you know the trend here, PNB, uh, you have already got a call here. So just wait on that call and then uh, try to book as much of profits uh, as you can. Both Bank of India and Bank of Baroda are both sell calls now.
Mahindra has done its intermediate target. Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> that's a wrong call. Uh, you just see the winning percentage is only uh, 58 percent. So that finally ended in a loss. We will not be picking these kind of calls. Idea, <coughs> idea is now at uh, 195.13 so another 60 paces down and Bharti Airtel uh, is 399, 390.9 so that's roughly in a profit only so you can just see that uh, the correlation is good we wanted this to be 70 so it's around 65 but your winning trades are high here. Sort of connected into the calls, calls like this.
So these are some of the calls <coughs> which I had actually uh, decided in the morning. Jingle Steel buy at 159, JP Associates buy at 121, uh, sorry 2160. Now it is at 2560, so that's roughly 4 rupees up. So Jingle Steel already made its 162 level, sorry 161, 162 is already done. So 159 was a buy for that. So JSW still uh, we had a price of 931. It made 934. So now it is done. Jubilant food uh, it was a short call that did not get executed. Now we have a buy. 1500 I was thinking of shorting it. So that is 1500 is this level, so never uh, happened. KTK 126.25 was my buy. So it's, so it's still in that range, 126, so roughly around 10 paise loss on that. But uh, there is still a buy uh, going on in KTK. You can execute at what level, exit at 127 here. KTK. 
So am I feeling empty? Let's just check that. LIC is at 450, so it's somewhere in that range only. So 460 can be, uh, that's our, on 10 rupees profit, we can exit on this. So LT 1744. So that's slightly under loss, 11 rupees. Still, there is a buy uh, continuing in this. So, Maruti, uh, we have 3712. Now it is 3743. So, roughly around 30 rupees here profit. So, ONGC was a buy, uh, what we said was 319. Now it is 320.50, uh, roughly say 1 rupee here. <coughs> Petrol light, I think it will be under loss. 178 is the entry. So this was the entry. It went up to 179. Now it is at 177.45. Roughly around 50 pesos loss in this, but we can still wait because it's still a good buy call. PMB 151.80 was the short. So now it is at 149. Power grid, power grid 146.70 was the buy, it's at 147 now. PTC should be under a loss, PT1 was the buy, so that hasn't done, I mean, it did not get triggered, so we place the order for both this candle, that is 81, so that hasn't got triggered. So RAM back C eight not three twenty was a buy. So it's a currently at eight nineteen. Our com sixty one forty was the buy. Now it is at sixty one fifty five. Now it has already done uh, nearly sixty two hours. <laughs> REC 328.50, we had a short, so that did not get triggered, now we have this buy call, I shorted below this. So real cap 436.50. So it's right now it's no loss, no gain. I may say. Totally gain it's uh, 438. Reliance 823 was our buy. Now it is 837.25. Well, in front we had an uh, call at 438.50 was the uh, order. Now it is at 440. R power 57.55 was a uh, buy. Now it is at 57.75. It's roughly around 20 paise here. The SBI 272 was a buy. That's 
टाटा मोटर्स फाइव फोर्टी थ्री फिफ्टी नाउ इट इज एट फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स रुपीज टाटा स्टील थ्री ट्वेंटी एट सेवेंटी So that did not get uh, triggered. You see that here, but we had a cell call in uh, future screen there. TCS two five eight seven should be a loss in that. So this call did not get triggered. So entry was two five eight seven. Today's opening itself is less than that. We have a sell call here in uh, future stream. So next comes here Union Bank 159. Already. So Came down and then uh, so that's that's the last call on Union Bank. Volt has two eighty five fifty. So now this uh, one rupee up. So with Pro we had this. 630 is a buy, so that did not happen. So yesterday is open as this this candle. So other two rupees up, then uh, the call will get triggered. So yes, bank 833.50 that was for a buy call that did not get triggered. We had the sell call in uh, FT. So that's all. Uh, we can even place calls. Uh, we can decide about the market uh, before the open. Uh, we can decide on the prices of uh, scripts before the market opens. So just take some time uh, in the morning. Open the charts, then uh, it will become very easy for you to place the orders. So roughly around two or three calls should be at a loss here. But uh, most of them are in profits. So I like this. I have placed the calls uh, from Monday uh, J to uh, Z, uh, J to Y. So I don't. I have the other calls in the other system. Maybe I will connect it later. That is from E to I. B to ITC, and then ACC to ITC. I will add to another other uh, system. But here we have all the calls from J to your uh, yes bank. So this will be the little bit of time and a little bit of analysis. So in case if you can do that, uh, I don't think 
anybody can uh, any can anyone can uh, actually uh, do this so time and little bit of analysis is necessary here so if you have any doubts on this uh, strategy the strategy i have worked it out many times i think there are many videos on this also so if you have any doubts on this you can just uh, type it in your type the question in your chat box See, you can't, you, I think uh, choosing the scripts is one of the best thing. And in case if you want to create so many uh, traits uh, like what I am trying to show you, I think you should be having the, the hardware resource first and the multiple licenses. And I think you should be uh, having another person with you uh, who can observe, and two people can observe. Since you are uh, getting into this uh, in a full time, initially you won't be able to do all, all your work on your own. So try to have another person who watch 30 and let the other person watch another 30. I think you can do that. But otherwise if it's not needed, if you trade out 30 steps, it's more than that.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
Sorry, what's your question? But uh, I think you should be asking the person who is going to install the, uh, the terminal uh, Odin uh, software in their uh, system. Just ask him how to place uh, the stop loss orders, basket orders, cover orders, the various ways how, can, how you can uh, place your orders. So he will be able to uh, show you in live. And other than You can place uh, three, four uh, targets in uh, this one, I mean in your terminal. It can be only one uh, target or you can keep revising your own uh, that target. That is trading the targets or uh, the stop loss also. You can't have multiple targets. I don't know if, if someone is giving it, uh, I don't know which terminal uh, they have that. That's the reason why I've been telling you, you can't define that. You can never say, you can never calculate that. So whenever uh, RELCAP 439.90 is happening here, I, I, I think you are not understanding the concept. Whenever you have a buy here at 432.90, you buy in futures at the current market price. It can be 4 rupees up or 2 rupees up or 3 rupees up. You like to buy at that price. So you are not fixing some uh, the futures price and buying. You are watching the cash prices and then you are going to buy in futures. Once, let me say that 1721 is the entry for LNT. I will short in future. At the current market price, whichever is existing at that point of time. Check your targets here, not in uh, futures. So 432.90, once it makes 435.40, you exit in futures. Then this uh, spot market is making uh, intermediate target.
So we have a solid well capital I just see Tata Motors uh, should be making its final targets
just uh, try to open the terminal it's very difficult to open the terminal on this because I'm running on 90% uh, processing it's my hardware uh, because I'm using this go to meeting it cannot, uh, you have this question right maybe I'll just show it to you in live So I am just clearing this doubt. Um, maybe after this, you should not be having a doubt. Uh, I think I should have done. I have again done this for options, but uh, let me. Uh, I even forgot about this. So let me just show you this. So now since uh, the, there are some trades which have already done all their uh, final targets, I think you will be able to understand this better now. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about uh, a live running trade. Let me pick Tata Motors. So I'll just add this. So I have Tata Motors here in the futures.
So what I have done here is, I will just show you. So these three Tata Motors features I have added, Tata Motors equity I have added and Tata Motors call option I have added. So I will explain you how this uh, old uh, concept works. Now let me just take the intraday chart of Tata Motors equity. So that is your intraday chart, Tata Motors. I just uh, install that, I will just take a screenshot of it. will work out or not but uh, let me just try otherwise I'll explain you this way itself so what you are seeing is Tata Motors equity now I'm just opening even Tata Motors I'm not if I'll be able to open this uh, two charts Now the facility in Let me explain you this way. I, I, it's more than a long time since I have used all these uh, menus. So I will just come to this Excel, what we have. So 542 is the entry for Tata Motors. 542.80. Now let me just open this. Now let's see what is the price. 542.80. So somewhere around here, we have an entry or even here also, let's say. So I think you are observing this now. So this is the point where you enter 542.80. So this is an equity chart. Now the time is around uh, 9.53. 9.53 is the time. So 9.53 my price was 542.80 for Tata Motors in equities. Now let me just open the futures chart. Now I have just opened the futures chart. In the same chart, <coughs> I'll try to find 953. So that is 953 and your price is you can see 544. That's a premium of roughly around 2 rupees and dollar. Now what is the price at and I will just tell you the stop loss also. Stop loss I won't be able to tell you in the future. My present target is, uh, it's roughly around 552 now, the current price. You can just check what is the price in Okay, I have it here. 
So this is your futures price and this is your equity price. So you can just check how both work together. So you have the equity, you have the features, let me minimize it. There is a buy call in Yates Bank 1. That is how uh, so on the left side what is what you are seeing is the equity price 540 uh, 550 15 now now the right side price is what you are seeing is the futures price 550 to 50 so now just keep observing it for uh, some time you will understand and your stop loss is stop loss for this is 540 let's say i will round it off to 540 i will show you where your 540 will be that is in equities So this is your 540. So your 540 is here. So your entry is at 542. So you have never made a stop loss here. You can just check uh, both the equity price and the <coughs> even the graph also, it will be almost similar. I think, did you, I think you should have got it now. And similarly you can even check this also. I am talking about the call option. So I have opened even the call option. Again I told you your cash market is the real market. Now 943, uh, 953, I will just check what is my price. So my entry was around 953. So let's say here, my price was 14 rupees 25 paise. The call with a strike of 550, it's a call option with a strike of 550 my entry price is at 14 rupees 25 paise and my current price is 17 rupees 20, 75 paise so that is a difference of around uh, 3 rupees 50 paise so 3 rupees 50 paise into your lot size that is your profit and the premium what you pay is 14 rupees into 500 rupees is the lot size so roughly around 7000 rupees your investment. I am talking about options. You are paying a premium of around 7000 rupees. And you are making a profit of, let me just calculate it, 17.75 minus 14.25. So that is around 3.5 into 500 that is your profit so for an investment of 7000 rupees you have made a profit of 1750 rupees so that is how options work that is how you can trade in the cash market you can trade in the futures market also so for an intraday basis this won't change your uh, span for uh, the span between your cash market price and the futures prices will not change for a day. So that is what uh, I was talking about. So even uh, you have even uh, you have just watched even this options also. Now in case if you want me to uh, show you another script, you want to see a put option. Let's come back to this. So let me take Tata Steel, it has already done its uh, final targets. 
So 325 is the entry, 326.30 is the stop loss for this. So I will just add this 3 uh, <coughs> so here I am taking a strike price of uh, 320 because I am going to buy an put option here. Sell call always buy a put option, buy call always buy a call option. So 320 will be my strike for Tata Steel. So I will choose 320 here and I will buy an put option. Now I will just even add uh, the features. equity so now I have all the three so I will just first open the equity chart so that is your equity chart Now let me just open the futures chart. And the, even the <coughs> options uh, chart. minimize this. So your entry for the Tata Steel is 325 and 321.50 is your uh, final target. So let me just check where uh, I have got this 325 in. So I got this cell call here. <coughs> 325, 325, 50. So this is your uh, roughly around here. 325, you have shot it here. That's at around a uh, time of uh, 940. Approximately 940, you got that call. So you have shot it at 940. Your price is uh, 325. Now just come back to uh, options we will see later. I am just showing you the futures chart. So 940, 940 is roughly this time. So 327.80 was your futures price. So 325 there, 327.80 here. Roughly two, two, two and a half rupees is the premium that's currently running in Tata Steel. So now it is a 321.35. So 321.30, let's say, we'll be having the same figure here. So you can just see that here. So 321.30. So we are running at 321.30. Here, here, 320.30. 390, 323, 390, the same roughly around uh, 2, 2 and a half rupees is your premium here, even here also. Now put option. Now you have bought a put option at 940. So roughly let's say here 940. So your value was 8 rupees 20 paise was your premium. 
8 rupees 20 into 500 and then now it is at 9 rupees that is your profit 9 into your log size so that is how you trade the both uh, I mean you can trade all the three segments Sell call in JRNBALS Studio 1. There is a buy call in Yee's Box 1. I think I should have done this earlier. So, anyway, uh, now you know how it works. So in that case, if you want a uh, prompt for your stop loss, just ask this uh, guy, the technical guy from your Odin. <coughs> what he will do is he will uh, tell you how to place a uh, prompt. Let's say, let me just take Tata Steel equity. So Tata Steel equity, you can uh, place and trigger saying that if a particular uh, this particular Tata Steel equity comes to uh, 320, what's the stop loss? 326.30, then you give me a trigger. So since your terminal will be always open, I don't do all this because I know that uh, how it works. But uh, initially, if you are getting confused, you can ask this person to place and trigger for this particular Tata Steel and equities. For that uh, that particular price 321.60. So as soon as 321.60 hits in your uh, terminal, it will give you a prompt that that particular price has triggered. Then you can exit here in futures. That's one very simple thing how you can uh, do right now. So your terminal will give you the right prices. So you won't, uh, there won't be much of slippage. That's one of the best ways uh, you can uh, place your stop losses also. So instead of watching all the 30 stop losses here, so once you get the play, uh, prices, you just uh, put the triggers on your uh, terminal for that 30 scripts, equities. Once you get the trigger, exit uh, that particular trade in futures. That's it. Simple. So I think I'll wind up here. So it's roughly around uh, nearly three hours from the market open. So these are the calls that we have. SBI hit a stop loss sell call. ICIC hit a stop loss. Now it's a buy call. HDFC we had a sell call. It's still in that range. 
Axis we had a sell call. Hit a stop loss. Yes Bank we had a sell call. Did its intermediate target. TCS and NFI did its intermediate targets. Wipro we had a stop loss. Tata Motors buy call final target. Relcap intermediate target. Arvindo Pharma I just wanted to show we had a sell call. Did its uh, intermediate targets. Hero Motors sell call did its intermediate target. LNT running now. Rel Infra we had a buy call still in that range. So 436 will be your stop loss, almost near your stop loss. Bank of Baroda, full target spam. PMB we had a sell call. We are still at to reach that stop loss. Fan Baxi, final target done. EPCL, fantastic. Uh, if you just calculate 25, 26 rupees into 500 is your upsides. So that's the profit there. Sun Pharma final target is done. Tech Mahindra intermediate target was done. Arcom we had a buy call. So Arcom usually we don't do it. Bharti Airtel final target is done. Arco one we don't have a call. ONGC was a gap down open. We did not pick that call. But it made its intermediate targets in the buy call. Kane India buy call intermediate target is done. Tata still you are seeing that final target. Indalco did not have a call still. It is very flat. So these are some of the calls that we have. So I'll just uh, keep you posted uh, once the market uh, turns either way. Now it is at 8527. So it's been sort of very flat. So let's wait uh, for the afternoon session and then uh, we'll wind it up. But for this, I just post the video. You can check it uh, once it's up.